For a lot of people, buying a house is a dream come true. But homes these days are crazy expensive. And you might be feeling discouraged because saving for a down payment or applying for a mortgage has been a challenge. You might think that choosing a rent to own home sounds like a good alternative to buying a house. But what is rent to own? And how does rent to own work? A rent to own home, sometimes called a lease to own home, is a house that you rent for a limited time, then you buy when your lease ends. To help you make a smart decision on your home ownership journey, I'll share exactly how rent to own works and help you weigh the pros and the cons. Plus, I'll look at other ways to buy a home. Even in a crazy market, it is possible. To live in a rent to own home, you'll sign a contract agreeing to the length of the lease, the home price, and other factors. And I'll get to all of that in just a bit here. The lease contract also spells out if the landlord has to put a certain amount of your rent payments towards the purchase price of the home. So how does rent to own work exactly? Lease to own programs are different than the typical buying process because they delay home ownership. So if you're not ready to commit to a purchase, you can live in the house as a renter in the meantime. I'll get into the basic steps of how to rent to own a house, but first I want to be crystal clear. I am not in any way recommending this. I just want you to understand how it works. So before you sign a rent to own contract, you'll need to agree on a purchase price. Now, many rent to own agreements name the home purchase price up front, just so you're aware. The price could be based on the home's current value or a predicted value. Now, when the home value is predetermined like that, it's set in stone as soon as the buyer and the seller sign the contract. But in other cases, the rent to own agreement says the buyer and seller can set the purchase price after the lease expires. You'll also need to negotiate whether or not any of your rent is applied to the principal value of the home. Additionally, you'll want to find out if you're responsible for repairs and upkeep while you're renting. In many rent to own agreements, the seller may require you to cover random costs like home repairs, maintenance, homeowners association fees, and even property taxes while you're renting. That means that you could find yourself on the hook for everything from landscaping fees to repairing a broken air conditioning unit. Finally, you'll need to agree on the term and the type of the lease to own contract. You and the seller will agree to a lease term in the contract. Now that's how long you'll rent the home before buying it. It's usually anywhere from one to three years, but the term could be shorter or longer depending on your situation. You'll also both agree to the type of rent to own contract that you want, either a lease option agreement, or at least purchase agreement. Okay, so now you've agreed to a contract. Now you're required to pay the seller a one-time non-refundable fee, AKA the option money or the option fee or option of consideration. That's to show the seller that you've got some skin in the game. Now, the option fee will lock in your opportunity to buy the house. Sometimes the seller will put this amount towards your down payment. You can expect to pay a percentage of the home's purchase price. And that percentage is typically 5% or less. That's going to be your option fee. So you'll need to have some cash saved up before you enter into a rent to own agreement. Now, what happens when it's time to transition from renting to buying the home? That's the golden question, right? Unless you saved up enough cash to buy the house outright when your lease ends, you'll need to get a mortgage when it's time to buy the property. At that point, your mortgage lender will set a closing date when you'll take ownership of the property. Depending on the terms of the rent to own agreement, uh, the rent money set aside for your purchase and possibly the option money will be credited to you as part of your down payment. But here comes the plot twist. 
if you don't qualify for a mortgage, the option to buy the home could expire. That's very important to notate. Make sure that you research the home to make sure that the agreed upon price isn't more than the house is worth. It's a great idea to get a home inspection and an appraisal to save you uh, from any surprises once it comes to time to buy the house. Rent to own might sound good in the short term, but it can turn into a big pile of regret in the long run. Trust me, it's worth it to wait so that you can buy a house the wise way without a risky rent to own agreement. Buying a house the traditional way, it may take more time. In fact, it probably will take more time, but you'll be glad that you put in the hard work and the patience.